so much, Taylor. The weather was certainly stunning over Ocean Springs on what was the final day of the Peter Anderson Arts and Crafts Festival. It's 45th year now in the books with thousands flocking from all over to shop at downtown vendors, taste local cuisine and meet all sorts of people. Every year, the Peter Anderson Festival brings in a collection of artists and vendors. But when you're an artist showing off your craft at Peter Anderson for the first time, that's definitely something to remember. That's my first year. I'm just excited. I'm honored to like be a part of this like cohort of people. Nymphs is an artist who hails from New Orleans. Her artwork is unique, combining two different types of mediums. So it started out with these paintings, and then I kind of started to make textiles just because I love textile art. I come from a family of both artists and quilters, so that's where there's the merge of quilting and art. Another artist who traveled from South Carolina says her oil paintings express more than what meets the eye. And, and I just watch people sometimes. It could be that I see there's an issue. And I'm like, well, how can I talk about this issue in a gentle way uh, and allow people to still think for themselves? Like Nymphs, Iverson credits her talent from her family. Iverson started painting portraits until her art took her in a different direction. Where I started doing more still life. Um, it was one of the things I never really enjoyed because I thought, I didn't want to do just flowers or something like that. When I suddenly realized I could tell a story with the still life. Iverson says her art hasn't been the same since. And I found a, a new passion for saying an awful lot of things that I wanted to say that I thought was important to most people. In Ocean Springs, Harper Robinson, WLOX News Now.